Welcome guys, the candy, the snow map is now out to live servers and it's one beauty of a map. In my opinion, it's the best map PUBG has ever seen. And my opinion is exactly what I'll be sharing with you in this video. Because there's one big problem that I've noticed over my approximate 60 hours on the map so far, 10 of which has been playing on the live servers. Not a problem with the map, but with the settings, the loot. The loot on Vikendi is heavily dominated by submachine guns, and especially the more common ones, the Uzi and the Tommy gun. By having lower tier weapons being extremely common like this, then that is what you'll be fighting with if you hot drop or get early action most of the time. Assault rifles can pretty much always be found within a few minutes. DMRs and sniper rifles are extremely rare though. Loot is randomly generated, but based on certain percentages deciding the loot balance. So you can definitely get lucky and find a DMR or sniper rifle, absolutely. I found these many times too myself, but most of the time I don't. By now it is a very commonly known fact that these things characterize the loot on Vikendi. But why do I think that's a problem? Well for once I don't find it interesting at all to fight with these lower tier weapons. The enjoyment of firing an AKM or an SLR feeling this powerful weapon with these amazing gunplay mechanics far supersedes the enjoyment of fighting with an Uzi to me. I just don't enjoy having to fight with Tommy guns. It really has no interest to me. This is naturally a personal preference that you might share or you might not. Furthermore, I think the map appeals much more to long range fights compared to short range with its vast open areas, far visibility, mountains and tall structures. Sure, I can slap a 6x scope on an M416, if I can find a 6x that is, and use that as a budget mini, but it's just not quite the same fun. I like my assault rifles in full auto spraying down enemies while attempting to master the challenging recoil. This is a lot of fun to me and keeps me feeling challenged and entertained. Yet, even though I mostly never find a DMR or sniper, I still pretty much always have full attachments for one in my bags. Sniper suppressor, compensator, flash hider, magazine and cheek pads. Sniper rifles are extremely rare and once you find them, you'll just realize that being rewarded with a one-shot headshot for your accuracy is much less likely to happen on Vikendi. Because level 3 helmets also spawn in the world, which is another big issue with the loot on this map. When you choose to use a bolt action sniper rifle, you choose a weapon with a powerful single shot, which should be rewarded with a one shot headshot most of the time in my opinion, as killing moving targets with a sniper rifle is extremely difficult. Moving targets on range is dealt with the best using a DMR, and as of right now the SLR is arguably the best range weapon of all on Vikendi. In fact I would take a DMR any day over a bolt action on Vikendi because what's easier, shooting an enemy two times with an M24. Or shooting him three times with an SLR. With a bolt action sniper your enemy will duck into cover after that hard hitting first shot to his level 3 helmet. With a DMR you need more shots but there's a higher chance that you can kill your enemy before he reacts to the high damage. Furthermore I think the presence of all the level 3 gear in the world makes RNG even more punishing. If you're unlucky and get stuck with a level 2 helmet and a vest, tough luck mate, you're now at a big disadvantage going into fights against players who had more luck than you. And this naturally also applies especially to DMRs. Being stuck with an assault rifle as your budget DMR and facing enemies who had more luck than you and simply found the very rare and better weapons is not a good feeling. Imagine if all the airdrop weapons were spread out over the world with low rarity. The luck factor would be even greater. Level 3 helmets belong in airdrops where the high risk of going for it is heavily rewarded. That's balanced and makes great sense in my opinion. And there are those that say that this game is also about fighting with the guns you get and make the most out of the situation you're in. And I do not disagree with that, but I don't see a problem in making that quest more enjoyable. Lastly, the amount of grips have been reduced. We're back to vertical versus angle grip. And I guess many of you won't be bothered by this. However, I personally enjoyed having the extra options of kitting out my weapons and making more videos. 
The Mutant, which is available on all other maps, is mysteriously not available on the Candy either. This is a shame, because the Mutant could serve as a budget SKS with good damage per bullet and good control under single fire. Another thing I'm sad to see go. So while the map itself is absolutely amazing, the settings make it a bit more harder to enjoy for me. Having said this, I still enjoy the map more than any of the other maps currently in the game. Now that was my opinion about the loot, and not really a positive one. But I hope you still found the video interesting, and I'll see you guys next time.